Investors everywhere are clamoring to add the hottest new contender in the electric car market to their portfolio, a Chinese tech company named Baidu. It's often called China's answer to Google because of their prowess in the technology world and beyond. As the auto industry revolutionizes with the more environmentally friendly digital world, Baidu is leading the way by partnering with companies like BlackBerry and Geely to design their own AI-automated electric vehicle, completely self-driving cars. With the market conditions in China being prime for the auto industry, it only makes sense that Baidu has taken the charge. Founded by Robin Lee in 2000, Baidu specializes in network information service and it, most notably, runs the largest search engine in China. It receives traffic from over 100 countries and regions, and in 2019, Baidu reached over 1 billion users globally. Meanwhile, its market value has grown to over $82 billion. While best known for its search engine, Baidu's innovations in technology and its abilities stretch far greater than that. In 2019, the National Industrial Information Security Development Research Center reported that Baidu was the company with the most patent applications in China, with a whopping 5,712 submitted. Most of their experience lies in artificial intelligence. Baidu states that their goal is to, through AI empowerment, continue to strengthen the barriers to competition, provide overseas users with three innovative functions, intelligent voice, intelligent recommendation, and intelligent expression, leading the AI trend in the global input method industry. The piece of technology that Baidu contributes to the grand effort of electric cars is their next-level mapping capabilities. You would hope that a self-driving car had a very exact map. Yahoo Finance reports that, with world-leading levels of data granularity, Baidu's high-definition maps provide a critical component for global automakers looking to launch next-generation connected and autonomous vehicles in China. It also includes environment perception, path planning, vehicle control, and vehicle operating systems. The complete driving system is named Apollo after the original NASA missions. The creators said that they wanted the Apollo driving system to have the same level of innovation associated with the lunar exploration. In a way, an accurate assessment. Baidu's Apollo was included in the Forbes China's Most Innovative Company list in both 2019 and 2020. At the 2020 World Internet Conference, Apollo was honored as the world's leading scientific and technological achievement. Apollo was recognized as one of the world's top four autonomous driving systems by Navigant Research. It has a wide range of features that could apply to different types of travel and car. According to Baidu, Apollo has released three sets of autonomous driving solutions for autonomous parking, valet parking, unmanned operation vehicles, micro car, and automatic shuttle buses, minibus. Each of these solutions help you personalize your driving settings to your own needs. The most important question is, is this system safe? Will it crash with no one behind the wheel? Baidu addresses this and in a statement assures us, safety determines the true speed of mass production of autonomous driving. On the same day, Baidu Apollo released the first safety report related to mass production of autonomous driving in China and cooperated with Mobileye, a world-class autonomous driving company, to integrate its core autonomous driving safety model RSS. This report is China's first professional safety report for mass production of autonomous driving, segmented scenarios and functions, and provides theoretical support for promoting the establishment of a unified standard for the autonomous driving safety industry. Great news! In March of 2020, Baidu first tested their self-driving vehicles on Dalian Street, an urban road in the Yanquan Economic and Technological Development Zone. The city of Yanquan said, the Yanquan Autonomous Driving Vehicle Road Coordination Demonstration Zone is a pilot project for the construction of a powerful transportation nation in our province, and it is also a benchmark project for Yanquan City to closely follow the digital new infrastructure of artificial intelligence and Internet of Things. The tests accounted for different types of terrain and road conditions, and the test reported that it had extremely high challenges and practical significance for autonomous vehicles and accumulated rich scenarios and experience for the future national promotion of autonomous driving. 
Amazingly, the Apollo driving system has recently been slowly rolling out in a taxi service in Beijing called Go Robo Taxi. The city of Beijing approved for self-driving cars to drive on a specific track, and this track is about 700 kilometers long. It deploys 40 self-driving taxis. Baidu plans on expanding to over 30 cities in the next three years. In January 2021, Beijing approved the testing of five Go Robo Taxi cars. The Apollon bus system also received safety certification from Chongqing test site of the National Bus Quality Inspection Center and is official allowed to run in four cities. This is the exact right time for Baidu to get into the electric car game because experts are predicting that China's auto industry is going to grow significantly and become a dominant force internationally. Wedbush securities analyst Daniel Ives said, we see China representing 40% plus of global sales for the company potentially by early 2022. International companies like Tesla and BMW have also taken a special interest in this market because Chinese production, manufacturing, and labor costs are considerably low. In January of 2021, the traditional car maker Geely announced that they are becoming a strategic partner in Baidu Electric Vehicle Company. According to CNN, Geely is the largest privately owned car maker in China, and it also owns the successful automaker Volvo. In their statement, Geely Holding Group said, China is at the forefront of the development of global smart electric vehicles. Geely Holding Group, which has been in business for 35 years, is transforming from a car manufacturer to a smart electric mobility technology company and is continuously improving in cutting-edge technology fields such as new energy technology, car networking, smart driving, human-computer interaction, shared mobility, in-vehicle chips, low-orbit satellites' ability, open cooperation with global partners, and will actively deploy the future smart three-dimensional travel ecology. Ultimately, Baidu promises to enter the passenger car market. In a press release, Baidu assures that they are forming a car company that is not only the best practice of artificial intelligence technology, but also an important strategic layout in the field of intelligent travel. Surprisingly, former tech superpower BlackBerry is returning to the industry in a big way by also joining Baidu. While most forgot about BlackBerry after their phones went out of style, the BlackBerry QNX real-time operating system they created in 1980 has become crucial in the journey to self-driving cars. Baidu's senior director of the Intelligent Driving Group, Wang Yunpeng, explains the BlackBerry QNX software performs well in functional safety, network security, and reliability, while Baidu has achieved long-term development in artificial intelligence and deep learning. Together, we can help car manufacturers quickly produce safe, autonomous vehicles and promote the development collaboratively of the intelligent networked automobile industry. Basically, BlackBerry software provides the perfect foundation for Baidu to install the Apollo system. The scope of the operation is giant. It has been installed in over 175 million cars, and now in 2021, BlackBerry has grown over 172% in the stock market. The BlackBerry and Baidu joint program is interesting because it's an instance of a non-Chinese-based country contributing to the Chinese auto industry. Baidu said that the Apollo system has attained over 50 partners, including Fa Group, one of the major Chinese car makers, which will work with Baidu on commercialization of the tech. Other partners include Chinese auto companies Cherry, Chang'an, and Great Wall Motors, as well as Bosch, Continental, Nvidia, Microsoft Cloud, Velodyne, TomTom, Ucar, and Grab Taxi. Okay, we know all of this, but what does that mean for the average car buyer? Will we be able to be driven around by our very own self-driving car anytime soon? Well, while what Baidu is doing certainly drives the effort for commercialization, we probably won't see them for sale for a long time. The US-based Autonomous Stuff installed the Apollo system in two of their cars, and the transformation happened in only three days. CNET reports, while the partnership likely won't affect much of anything in the US, at least for now, there's the possibility Volvo ties into this somehow. Geely scored a global luxury brand when it plucked Volvo years ago, and Volvo certainly does have reach in North America.